children welcome to aims india's online classes so today from chapter 3 we will be continuing the birds lesson uh, in today's session children so yesterday we have just started like uh, the topic where do birds live no so where do birds live and we already learnt that so some birds live in its nets no birds live in their nets as we live in our houses they live in their nets nest is the house of the birds okay so here yesterday we have discussed about this tiger birds nest no tiger birds nest see here in the picture how this tiger bird has built its nest no by what did it build children by the grass straw dry leaves twigs pieces of cloth paper threads and all this no it is going to sew the nest with all these materials so as the tailor stitches the clothes for us even this tailor bird it stitches its nets in the sense it sews its nest okay children so that is why we call this as a tailor bird no okay now we will going to learn about some other birds which built their nets so here the weaver bird so we'll be learning about the weaver bird the weaver bird uses its beak to weave a strong cup shaped nest using twigs and dry grass okay children weaver bird weaver who is a weaver who is a weaver a weaver is a person who weave the cloth no so same like that here this bird is called as a weaver bird now what does it do it uses its beak so with its beak here it is going to weave a strong cup shaped nest so how is the nest children in which shape it is in a cup shaped see here it is in a cup shaped no and it is very strong so what does it is using what is it is using to build this nest it is using twigs and dry grass twigs twigs means like uh, branches of tree small shoots small shoots of the tree or branches of the tree we call them as twigs okay children so this is using the branches of the trees and also the dry grass to weave a strong and cup shaped nest okay and the nest usually hangs from the branch of a tree how is the nest it hangs from the branch of the tree okay have you uh, have you observed anywhere in your surroundings or in the pictures or in any tv programs uh, when you uh, go with this birds uh, discovery channel they you can see there the nets of the birds you no know, different type of nets no before we learnt about the tailor bird nest no see here weaver's bird nest so this nest it, it is going to hang from the branch of the tree okay it has a small tunnel like opening at the bottom from where the bird enters see children from where does the bird enter here it enters from the here down from the down side that is the bottom this is the entry for this bird to enter into its nest so it has got a small tunnel like opening so this is the opening of the bird okay so from the bottom where it can enter inside the nest okay children the woodpecker makes holes in tree trunks with its beak to make a nest now what about the woodpecker so what is woodpecker children which makes the holes on the trunks of the trees and eats the insects from that trunk no so this woodpecker it makes holes in the tree trunks with its beak to make a nest so woodpecker also builds its nest on the or in the tree trunk holes clear children and what about penguins here penguins make their nests on the grounds where do penguins live children penguins live in cold regions 
no so they cannot fly no penguins they cannot fly even though they belong to birds category they cannot fly so that is why they make nets on the ground because they live on the ground okay and since they live in cold places it is difficult to find twigs and grass in such places so hence they make their nets with pebbles and stones no as we said they live in cold places in cold places you cannot find grass and much more plants so it cannot make nets with this plant materials okay so what does it find there then it can only find stones and uh, small stones pebbles are like small small stones okay so because of that penguin what does it do it uses the small stones that is the pebbles and stones and makes its nest on the ground clear children so here we learnt about the weaver bird okay it makes the nest using twigs and dry gra grass okay and how is the uh, shape of the nest children it is a cup shaped nest no and uh, where does it enter how, from which direction from the bottom of the nest it is going to enter into its nest okay and woodpecker it makes the nest in the trunk tree trunk that is and penguins are going to make their nest on the ground and what do they use they use pebbles and stones clear children yes now we we'll learn about some other birds like birds like fowl partridge build shallow nest on the ground see children fowl and partridge so these birds we do not see in our daily life okay so these are are also some rare birds which live in um, like wild forest areas okay children so these birds how do they build they build shallow nest on the ground shallow in the sense a little deep nest deep nest on the ground okay they scoop out mud and spread out straw and hay to make the nest soft and lay eggs they scoop out mud so because they are making the nest on the ground they'll scoop out in the sense they'll just take out the mud on the ground they'll dig the ground so while they dig the ground what happen they'll take out they scoop out they'll take out the mud and spread straw and hay straw and hay are nothing but the grass children the dry grass and all grass material so that their nest becomes very soft and it can lay eggs in that nest clear children so they'll dig the ground okay they'll take off the mud and they'll spread all the grass so and they'll make a soft nest and then they lay the eggs in that nest clear children which birds do like this fowl and partridge and now they build nests in grassy fields to remain hidden from predators so where do they build their nests they build their nests in grassy fields fields field is nothing but a area with much more plants no so why do want why do they want to build their nests in grass fields because when gra if they are in the grass fields so their enemies will not be able to see them they'll hide themselves in that grass predators means what children predators are the other animals which kill and eat the animals okay even some animals they eat birds no children and sometimes even human beings also will kill the birds no so to escape from that enemies they'll hide themselves in their grass fields and they'll make their nests and lay the eggs clear children now owls parrots and hornbills build their nests mostly in the hollow spaces of walls or trees see children owls owls parrots and hornbills so these birds 
where do they build their nests they build their nests mostly in the hollow spaces of walls or trees so walls hollow spaces so where if there is an empty space on the walls or trees so these particular birds are going to build their nests there okay cuckoo this is one more bird children cuckoo does not make a nest it lays its eggs in the crow's nest the crow looks after its eggs and babies see here cuckoo it does not make its own nest it, this particular bird it will not build its own nest we have already learnt that the crow builds its own nest and what do we call it as we call it as crow's nest now this cuckoo what does it do it is going to lay its eggs in the crow's nest and the crow is going to look after its eggs and babies see how helpful is the is the crow so even though this is not the parent no crow is not the parent of the cuckoo egg ones no still it is going to look after its eggs and the babies clear children and now we will learn one fact that penguin is the only bird that can walk upright it cannot fly but can swim see children penguin no it is the only bird which can walk upright normally birds they can they'll fly no they'll fly and they cannot walk upright in the sense like this straight no even though they walk they cannot walk like this straight so and this penguin it cannot fly but it can swim clear children and if you observe here uh, see here this is uh, this is the nest of the penguin so which is built with pebbles and stones see here pebbles and stones Huh, got an idea of the penguin nest how it is see it is very clear in this picture clear children yes now we learn about how these birds they care the egg ones no so as our mothers care about us you know not only mother even father like our parents how do they care for us so even the birds they care for their babies how do they care we'll just see here the mother bird lays its eggs in its nest and keeps them warm until they hatch into egg ones see all the birds maximum they are going to lay the eggs no so and what do they do after laying its eggs so they have to give them the warmth in the sense they have to keep them warm no so what does this mother bird do so after it lays its eggs in its nests so they are going to keep them warm until they hatch into young ones hatch into young ones in the sense children until they come out of the egg egg shell breaking the egg shell they have to come out that is known as hatching no so until these birds these young ones as you see in the picture here so they have come out from the egg now and they are very small so this mother is going to keep them warm until they come out like this the father bird helps to protect the eggs from enemies and what does the father bird do he is going to protect the eggs from the enemies what are the enemies the other birds and animals no which are going to eat this eggs and the small ones no egg ones so as the mother bird it is going to keep them warm the father bird is going to protect them from the enemies okay and once the babies hatch out they cannot fly as they are weak featherless and cannot see so uh, once the babies hatch out once they are born in the sense they have come out from the egg so they cannot fly why they cannot fly because they are very weak and they are not having feathers no and they cannot see yes or no children even when we are born human beings we are born can we walk directly after we are born can we see no no so so we will be very weak no our parents have to protect us 
so until we get strength so same like that here also birds when they are hatch out so they are very weak and they cannot fly because they do not have feathers and they cannot see also so the parent birds help them in feeding so that is why the parent bird what does it do it is going to help them in feeding in the sense it is going to provide them the food see here the bird the mother bird or the father bird so they are going to collect the food and they are going to feed them so see here they have got some food and they are going to give this put this food into the mouths of the young one can you see here in the picture children how the young ones have opened their mouths to eat that food so like this so the parent birds help them in feeding they take care of their young ones until they develop feathers and learn to fly and search for food on their own so until what time they are going to feed their children until they get strength okay until they get strength and until they develop feathers feathers because to fly they need feathers no so until they get the feathers and learn to fly so they are going to feed them so once if the birds the young birds start flying then they can find their food no they'll fly and go from one place to other place and they can eat their own food they can find and eat their own food so until that time the parents of this young ones the parent birds are going to feed them in the sense give them the food clear children okay so here are some words children like beaks talons patching wading feathers nets so these are all the words which are connected to these birds okay so try to learn the spellings of these birds and repeat these words for yourself now here we'll just learn some meanings for these words children some of the words here talons what is talons the sharp and curved claws of flesh eating animals sharp and curved claws of flesh eating animals so flesh eating animals in the sense for example vulture all eagle all this so their claws how are their claws they are very sharp and curved claws so these claws are called as talons okay now flight muscles what do you mean by flight muscles muscles that attach the wings to the bird's body and help in flying no we have learnt that birds have got a pair of wings no two wings and a tail no this muscles which are attached mean which attached to the wings to the birds body are called flight muscles which help them in flying up stroke up stroke means the movement of wings in upward and backward direction up stroke in the sense the wings which move in upward and backward direction down stroke down stroke means the movement of wings in downward and forward direction downward and forward forward in the sense like front okay downward and forward directions nest what is a nest children the place where the birds live with their young ones okay clear children so try to by heart these meanings and what did we learn until now from our birds lesson birds do not have teeth they use their beaks to catch and eat food no they do not have teeth but they use their beak to catch and eat the food the feet and claws of the birds help them to hold the food and also to move around yes no so how how are they going to move children they are going to move through their feet and claws okay and also they hold their food also and birds how do they fly birds fly with the help of their wings and tail now the fourth point birds have three kinds of feathers no what are they body feathers down feathers and flight feathers no body feathers down feathers and 
flight feathers clear children now here are some exercises so which we have to do so let us do these exercises together children so be ready for this now fill in the blanks with the correct words first one is birds have dash feet birds have dash feet how many feet do they have they have two feet no four or two two feet second one the birds that can walk in shallow water are known as dash birds which can walk in shallow water you have to be very careful birds can also swim in the water some birds some can walk in shallow water which can swim in shallow water is like duck no it has got a webbed feet which can walk like crane so what type of uh, bird it is it is a wading bird okay wading third one the feathers that keep the bird's body warm are dash feathers the feathers that keep the bird's body warm are down feathers which are towards the down of their body clear children now the movement of wings in upward and backward direction is see upward and backward direction is up stroke okay dash build their nests with pebbles and stones dash build their nests with pebbles and stones either penguin or parrot yes it is penguin because this lives on the ground no so that is why it uh, it doesn't get any grass or uh, such type of material because it lives in cold regions so penguin is the correct answer clear children now we'll go to the b exercises that is state the following statements as true or false now the type of beak a bird has depends on its feeding habit is it true or false children so we have learned that birds have got different type of beaks no and how is uh, that beak uh, is designed according to its eating habit no so so that is why this statement is true the type of beak a bird has depends on its feeding habit this is true and the second one humming bird has long pointed and straw like beak humming bird no it is uh, going to suck the nectar from the flowers humming bird so that is why it has got a long pointed and straw like beak is it true yes this is true the third one flight feathers are present mostly on the wings and tail of a bird flight feathers means what the feathers which help the bird to fly no so where do, where are they present children on the wings and tail of a bird is it correct yes this is also a true statement now the fourth one all birds make nests and live in it all birds make nests and live in it is it true children no so most of the birds make nests but all the birds they do not make nests okay children so that is why this is the false answer false statement fifth one as soon as the babies hatch out of the eggs they fly away is it true will they be very much strong that they can fly away after coming out of the eggs that is hatch out of the eggs no the babies cannot fly away no they do not have feathers so that is why they cannot fly away so this is a false statement clear children yes now i'll go with the c exercise so here you have uh, given some uh, description so we have to name two for the each type of uh, description like here birds with a sharp and hooked beak so we have to name two birds which have got sharp and hooked beak can you give me the answers children here yes it is sharp and hooked beak that is prey birds vulture 
vulture and owl. Okay. Now second one. Birds with broad and flat beak. Broad and flat beak. So this broad beak, it has also got two holes on either side of the beak. No, I have already uh, said to you and we have learnt this. Which type of uh, bird has got like this children? Yes, it is duck. Duck and goose. Okay. So why do they have broad and flat beak? Because they live in muddy water. So they will eat all plants or insects which are there in that mud water. And when they take them into the beak, the excess water is going to come out by the holes and only the food is that is the solid food that is only the insect or plant is going to go into its mouth so that is why they have got broad and flat beak duck and goose praying birds praying birds means which kill the other animals and eat them as food so for this also you can uh, name eagle and all even vulture also comes under praying bird also okay climbing birds climbing birds children which climb on the trees yes woodpecker and the other one is parrot okay so these are the two birds woodpecker and parrot fifth one children Birds that build shallow nets on the ground. Okay, so what would you learn? That fowl and partridge. This is tea children. Okay, so you have all this information in your slide. So please check it once again. Okay. Birds that build shallow nests are fowl and partridge. Okay, clear children? So, this is about the C exercises. And now here, identify and circle the odd one from the pictures given below. So, identify and circle. So, see here you have got uh, some four types of birds children. So, which is different from the other three? Okay. So that we have to identify and circle. Okay. So we will see. So uh, which is different here. If you see children here. In the picture. So this beak. According to the beak we have to differentiate. Okay. This beak. This beak. No. These three beaks look the same. No. They, these three beaks are a little hooked shaped beak. So whereas sparrow, this one is a sparrow, has got a short beak. No. So this is the odd one. Sparrow's beak is the odd one. Whereas, whereas the rest of the three beaks in the picture are the same. Clear children? Now, here we have to match column A and column B. See here, there are some feet and claws of the birds here in column A. And here are the birds. No. So, we have to identify to which bird does this feet belong. Okay. Okay. We will start doing this. Now, A. 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 This see here. They are very uh, thin. No. Thin uh, legs. Thin legs and three fingers are in the front and one is little above the leg. No. So, what type of bird has got this feet children? It is the hen. It is the hen. Okay. So, that is A is of fifth one. Now, B. See how it is? So, it has got very strong strong toes no and it has got a curved claws curved claws so this this is nothing but of a praying bird no so here this matches with the 
first one that is the vulture b is of the first one c c here c children how is it so two toes two toes are in the front two toes are at the back no which bird has got this children woodpecker not uh, not sorry it is not woodpecker it is ah yes sorry it is woodpecker no so c is of fourth one clear d see how it is the web defeat which bird has got this the bird which can swim no here the duck so d is of matches the second bird now at the last e what is this e yes it is the feet of a bird which can hold strongly the branches no so where are three toes are in the front and one toe is at the back yes this is of the crow no e matches with the third bird that is the crow clear children so this is how the match the following is done for you clear now so here we have to put a tick mark against the correct statements and cross against the wrong statements okay children okay let us do now so this is the life skills in the sense so which we have to do or we must not do in our daily life that is the life skill which we have to learn this like what we have to do and what we have to not to do clear the first one we should not harm the birds we should not harm the birds yes or no must we harm the birds no so this is the correct statement okay children this is the correct statement the first one we should not harm the birds second one we can destroy any of the birds nest so the bird has built the nest for laying eggs and to produce the young ones no so can we destroy the children no is it good destroying the birds nest no we should not destroy we should not destroy it no so that is why the second one is a wrong statement we should not tease any bird during bird watching yes so must we teach any bird during bird watching no we should not tease tease in the sense like causing some type of trouble okay distracting its attention okay no we should not do this so correct one correct statement fourth one we should try to keep water and some grains or fruits in our balcony for bird survival or feeding so how many are doing this children so are when especially when summer comes no so most of the houses we keep some water or uh, water for the animals outside the uh, gate and some water in some containers inside the uh, house or in the balconies why do we keep it so that the animals outside like dogs cats they can drink the water and inside in the sense the birds which fly over our balconies or on our front yards they can drink some water no along with that water we also keep some grains no some grains some rice grains some wheat grains some jowar all that so that we can feed them we can give them some food for their survival to keep them alive okay my mean shall we do that yes we have to do that we should definitely do that you have to practice this habit from now because you are a small child you have to learn such type of good habits no so we must keep some water or some grains for birds for their survival this is the right statement fifth one we can kill birds for our needs we can kill birds for our needs no this is like a wrong statement uh, we should not kill birds but sometimes 
people kill birds but it's always good we must not keep i mean we, sh we should not or we must not kill the birds okay children okay now this is a wrong statement clear children now so this is what we have learnt about birds and uh, like and these are the things which we have to practice in our daily life to protect the birds clear children now so i am going to end here in uh, today's session so we'll be continuing in tomorrow's session with the another topic okay so until then take care and goodbye thank you for watching our video please subscribe our channel and press the bell icon for receiving latest updates thank you for watching our video please subscribe our channel and press the bell icon for receiving latest updates